Good morning, everybody. It's Valerie Ling here, also known as Dr. Burnout. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, what a lovely sight to see behind me. If you're listening in on my podcast, you're not going to be able to see this, but just picture, oh, let's zoom in on that, that uh, what you can see is actually a beautiful gift from a friend. Uh, well, actually, I think I purchased this one in support of um, a charity, but a, a beautiful painting that was actually painted for my friend, uh, painted by my friend. I can't get the words out. Good morning, good morning. So um, here it is. <clears throat> Can I really do that? Can I really do that? Uh, some of the common things that uh, get said to me, or probably one of the common things that get said to me uh, when we're thinking about um, how do we actually get to that point where we're feeling like we uh, are exhausted, are tired, and you've run out of ideas as to what you can do. Can I actually really do that? And the answer is yes, you can do pretty much anything that is required to help you to feel a little bit better. So the principle here really is when we get stuck in the rut that what we're doing is uh, ineffective, we, we lose confidence, we feel like we're not actually achieving much. We, 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 the, one of the most common things that I hear when people are burning out is that the simplest of things that they used to be able to do before have now become the hardest things. They're also finding that uh, what they were able to do with such mental clarity, like they could see a straight line, um, is just so difficult. And then you know what tends to happen? We tend to then look outside of ourselves, outside of our sense that we've got this and our, uh, our competencies and probably even just the evidence that we've been able to do these things before. We start to entertain, embrace, welcome, open the doors wide, other people to reassure us and really what soon becomes for other people to tell us what to do so this whole thing about permission seeking is a little bit problematic because when we start to ask people for permission we basically welcome a, um, a barrage of all kinds of opinions uh, some helpful some not so much but it also undermines the very basic thing that no matter how many uh, years you've been on this on, on this planet you've actually made quite a lot of good decisions and and even when a decision made is you know eventually lands up being maybe not the right thing you figure it out right you problem solve so you ha do have the ability and the experience to do that it's just that when we're exhausted and when we're feeling like we're running on empty uh, not only do we doubt what we think we also just can't get to it. We can't access it. So here's the thing. Forget about can I really, uh, will, what will other people think? Just do it. Just do it. This morning, I'm actually taking a piece of my own advice in exactly this vein. So we are moving houses. Uh, I'm up in, at 6 a.m. at the moment in a coaching program. My body is groaning and thinking, this is a really bad idea. Why are you doing this? Uh, you're not going to be able to do this. And the day is ahead. And, you know, I was just finding myself by, you know, I've had the coaching program at six. I curled up uh, into a little ball at seven and tried to have a nap and thinking, this is not working. And by the time I'm hitting 7.30, 7.45, I'm like in the headspace of I have to, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this. There's no more I want to do this. There's not even I need to do this. It's just that I've got to do it. And I decided to do something a little different today. I actually have nowhere to really go. Thursday is my, my um, uh, work from home day or a project day for me where I just spend time doing the things that bring me great joy and um, Thursday the practice also has a, a different rhythm it's like a different world in the practice on Thursday um, we have that space even going in the practice today is a fairly settled day and there's really no reason for me to put on um, a, a, a dress which I have done selected a dress by the way that I felt cocooned by I went through my wardrobe and thought 
I, could, I, I should wear this. I could, oh, you know, it's a, it's a day. It's not really a work day. It's like I should wear sandals. And I, should, and I just thought, there's that shoulda, 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 shoulda. I, I'm, I'm tapping into everything other than really what is going to bring me a sense of uh, settled peace and just being restful. So I've done something different today. I've actually woken up and put on a, a dress that I would normally wear if I were uh, working, seeing clients or if I was presenting or talking somewhere. Um, I've got that on and then I thought, oh, I'll just put on a, a face as well. Why not? <laughs> Let's just slow down and, and do some of that. And you know, what happens now is that I'm unlocking a space for myself that says, oh, just breathe, right? The rest of the stuff is really not important. Shoulda, 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 shoulda. And found myself then thinking about what would really help me to feel right now that I'm okay and things are okay. And I decided for me this morning was to head for one of my energy zones, which is to be out in a cafe um, with light in a place with light that for me uh, really helps and to actually just sit down and rather than tackle the shoulda, 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 just tackle the uh, the things that I, I'm going to find for myself to give me a sense of peace. Does that make sense? Because it can feel like it's calamity at the moment. So uh, did I mention? I think I have. I'm moving house. Uh, I'm We've got three new um, staff at the practice. I had one month off, all, all of January off, came back to February, uh, three new employees. Um, and the wonderful thing about bringing new people on, and I sincerely, sincerely mean this, the wonderful thing about bringing new people on is fresh pair of eyes and brains that look around and go, huh, why don't we do it this way? Or how come it's like this? Or this is, you know, and all at once, <clears throat> you realize that the stuff that you thought was working maybe isn't really working. And then you realize that all the things that you thought um, were great ideas, other people um, might struggle with. And, you know, yesterday for me was like this big watershed moment of looking at the practice that fundamentally, I suppose, I've built over the years, uh, and looking around and, and thinking, oh, my God goodness maybe this is just a deck of cards like you know someone could just go poof and the whole thing is going to fall down and then thinking and then i was realizing that i was walking around the house sigh um see the house walking around the office sighing it's going ah oh, ah oh. Oh, and you know, I have a child who counts the number of times that I do that in the car. If I'm going, oh, 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 they'll be like counting. And it's like this signal for me that, you know what? You are allowing messages now that you live in a train wreck, you work in a train wreck, and then, ah, there we go. You are a train wreck. Ah, <laughs> you are a train wreck, right? So this morning, I'm walking in the space to say that, don't listen to that. You're not a train wreck. Um, you really aren't. Uh, put on a put on something that makes you feel like you, in like like you know like you're heading out in a space where the last uh, you know twenty five years of being a psychology a psychologist and the last seven five to seven years of working in the burnout space uh, was not fake and phony and um, wafer thin. And go and do something that totally is going to bring you back into that sense of peace and quiet stillness and, and confidence. And I suppose for me this morning is to head to a, a cafe, not go to the office. Um, I love the team that I work with, but this morning is probably not what I need. <laughs> I can't get the words out. What I don't need this morning is to head back into the space that I left yesterday which is feeling like uh, things aren't working. I've got to actually act opposite to that this morning and um, head into that space where I'm not listening to that and I'm taking hold of the reins, having a moment of peace and doing the things that bring me joy and, the third, the, and tackling the three top things um, that really just put a smile on my face. So I'm gonna do that this morning. 
I hope you find the time and the space to do that as well.